Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, mine's not too bad. The week is uh, just beginning, but it's turning out to be a good one so far, so that's that's good. Um, I kind of wanted to branch out on my channel a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I usually spend my time focused on, uh, you know, the Linux terminal, Linux window managers. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, allergies are killing me today. Uh, bash scripting and stuff like that, but uh, for my degree, I actually am going to be learning C++, so I've taken it upon myself to actually get a little bit of a head start and um, just start studying C++ on my own before I actually hit those courses. Um, so what we're going to do today is we are going to create a quick little C++ project, and that project is going to be a BMI calculator. Um, so hopefully you enjoy this, and let's just go ahead and jump into it. So what we need to do first is we need to create a file, and we're going to call it bmi.cpp for C++. So bmi.cpp um, is what I guess I should vim into bmi.cpp for this to work correctly. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so basically what we're going to do here is we're just going to write a simple program that's going to allow us to input a few variables, um, our height, our weight, maybe we'll put our name and stuff in it, and then it will do a calculation and it will spit, spit out our body mass index. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. What we need to do first is we need to call the header files we need to use. Um, and obviously since we're going to be inputting and outputting to the console, we need to have the IO stream. So we're going to do pound and we're going to do include. And then we are going to actually add IO, S-T-R-E-A-M. And that's going to be IO stream. And we also are going to be doing some math. So we need to include and then we need to do CMath. So these are the two header files we're going to need to do this. Um, so once we get those in there, now what we need to do is, there's a couple ways you could do this, but we're going to go this route. Um, we're going to have, be using, and we're going to use the namespace of STD. And then we are going to end with a semicolon. So STD namespace is just the standard namespace, and that's just so it knows what section to look for in the IOStream header file. Um, you can do this a different way by when you declare something, uh, or when you call something for C in or C out, you can put STD colon colon C out or STD colon colon C in, and that will look for it in that line, but you'd have to do that every time you use that. So basically we're just going to call it right here so that this program knows that we're going to be using the standard namespace. So. Once we've got that done, what we need to do is we need to make create and initialize a main function. So we're going to do init main, and then we're going to give it uh, opening and closing parentheses, and we will go ahead and hit enter, and we're going to give it a curly brace, and then we are going to have a string that's going to be our name. We are going to have an integer. These are variables. I won't get too deep into this. But that is going to be our age and yeah, let's just do our age for the fun of it. Um, let's go ahead and do an integer that is our weight and an int that is our height. So we have all those and now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we are going to say system and then we're going to do is clear. So basically once we run this in the terminal it will actually clear the terminal before it starts the program and we won't have a big mess on our screen. So we're going to do that, and then next step we're going to do is we are going to see out, and what do we want to see out? We are going to see out what, geez, if I can spell, is your name. I really can't spell today. And then we are going to do that, and we are then going to have a colon there, or a semicolon, and we're going to do see in, and then we are going to have our name. So that's going to input our variable from name up here. We're going to have a colon, and then we're going to come down here, and we're going to do C out, and then colon, or uh, less than, less than, or greater than, greater than, I don't know which one that is, and we're going to say, how old are you? Now this doesn't have anything to do, age doesn't have anything to do with the BMI calculator, but I figured why not put it in there. And then we're going to do CN, we're going to do greater than, greater than, and we're going to do age. Angle brackets, greater than, whatever you want to call it. And then next we're going to do C out again, and then we're going to do the right angle brackets, and we're going to say how much do you weigh? And then 
we are going to colon, and then we're going to do C in, and we are going to do weight, and then we are going to do C out, and we're going to say how tall are you. So basically what this is going to do is this is going to ask us all these questions and it's going to wait for our input. And as we input it, it will take that input and use it for a calculation here in just a minute. So then we're going to put height. So that's all we got to do with that right there. And then what we want to do is I want to system clear again because I don't want a huge mess on my screen. And I think I'm doing this wrong. I think I need to have... Uh, double quotes around this. So let's just go ahead and take care of that real quick. And get that finished off. Okay, so that's good. So then we're going to system clear. And then we are going to create another variable that's going to be a float because it's going to be, it's not going to be a whole number. It's going to be, it, it can have the potential to, you know, be a decimal. So we're going to float and we're going to call float BMI. Um, so that's going to be our body mass index. This is going to be the calculation that it's going to do to actually um, to actually give us our um, BMI. So we're going to do float BMI, and that is going to equal, and that's going to be weight. I think weight times seven hundred three, and then we divide that by height times height is I think the correct formula I guess we'll see so we've got our uh, formula here to calculate our BMI and then we're going to see out and we are going to do name but then we also want to put our name there. So that's going to give our name and then it's going to end L which is going to end the line and go down to the next line and then we're going to go C out and we're going to say age and then we're going to put our age and then it is going to end line and then we are going to C out and we're going to have um, we're going to have it say, your BMI is, and then we are going to have it do the BMI. It's going to spit out the calculation that it made for our BMI, and then we're going to do NL. And then down here, we are going to make a little if statement. That's going to give us a little bit of information about our BMI. So if we do if, and then we do BMI is uh, less than 18, then what we want it to say is C out, and we're going to say you are too skinny. Pick up a fork. <laughs> so we'll have it say you're too skinny. Pick up a fork. And then um, we'll close that with curly brace, and then we're going to say else if. And we're going to do BMI is um, less than 25. Then we're going to have it C out. And we're going to have it say your BMI is perfect. You are right where you should be. And then we're going to close that one, and then we're going to say else if, and we're going to say BMI is greater than or equal to 25, then it's going to say, um, let's have it say, let's see here, hey, you're, you <laughs> are overweight. Put down the fork. Oops, need my first uh, quote there. 
And please don't take offense to any of these statements I'm putting in here. This is just for fun. I'm not. Uh, I'm not calling anybody anybody fat by any means or anything like that. I'm just uh, putting this stuff in there. So, and then we do a closing, and then we need to have another closing bracket, and that should be it. So if we escape and we write, as long as we don't have any errors, which we do. Um, do have oh that shouldn't be in it that should be int main so okay so now we don't have any errors everything looks good so if we write and quit now we're in C++ we have the compiler installed so what I need to do is I need to run G++ which is my compiler and I'm going to do dash O so my output file is going to be called BMI and then I want to do it on BMI uh, dot cpp. We're going to hit enter and it compiled just fine. There's no output so we have good compilation and if I do an ls you can see right here I now have this file called bmi. Well, Let's go ahead and run that bmi and see what happens. So if I do dot slash bmi and we hit enter okay cleared the screen like it was supposed to. It's going to ask for my name so let's do Jake. How old am I? I am 43. How much do you weigh? I weigh about 190. And how tall are you? I am, and you need to do this in inches. Um, I think I am about 72 inches tall. So if we go ahead and hit enter after that, okay, it clears the screen. It says your name is Jake, you're 43, your BMI is 25. And it says, hey, you're overweight, but down the fork. <laughs> so, okay, let's try this again. Uh, let's do BMI, what's my name, and we'll do Bill this time, and how old are you, and we'll say Bill is 27. How much do you weigh? We'll say he weighs 175, and we'll say he's 70 inches tall. So we hit enter, and it's Bill is 27, his BMI is 25. You're, hmm, is it going to tell me everybody's 25, or am I just hitting that just right? Let's go ahead and run it again. Uh, what is your name? We'll do Bill again, and we're going to do 27 again. What's my weight? Um, let's put 120, and how tall are you? We'll put 75 inches. Nope, okay, good, it changed. So that's, I was just lucky on my guess for height and weight to give me... So, name is Bill, 27, your BMI is 14, you're too skinny, put, pick up a fork. Okay, so cool, so that program worked just fine. So let's go ahead and vim into it again real quick. Um, so if we vim into BMI... I guess I need to be a little more specific. BMI.cpp. Um, so it's real simple. Like I said, look at that. It's only, what, 34 lines of code. Um, real simple to um, get some of this stuff going. So C++ isn't quite as daunting as some people might think. Um, but I'm just learning this, so I might uh, change my mind here before too long once I get real deep into it. But just kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, hopefully uh, you liked this video and maybe got a little bit of information out of C++ that you didn't know before. Um, not a whole lot because I didn't give a whole lot of information. I just kind of wrote things down. But... Um, uh, we can see how the syntax is and everything, and you can see that yeah, it works pretty pretty slick. So that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day and a uh, great week, and God bless.